Hey guys, um, we have kind of um, an endurance type training today. Um, we'll get you warmed up and then I'll kind of give you some details. Go ahead and roll through those shoulders. So what we're going to do is we're going to do one minute intervals. And you hear them beeping already there, bigger and bigger. And during those one minute intervals, we're going to alternate between two exercises. There's no equipment needed. Okay, go ahead and reverse. Um, this is all about moving. Um, so remember to work at your own pace. Um, there's some like tuck jumps in there. And if you don't like to do a tuck jump, you know, you could just, just do one knee in and out. Um, so keep that in mind um, to change things to whatever you need them to be. All right, bringing those knees up, bring those arms forward. Let's get upper and lower body going here. So quick warm up. What we're going to do is there's five one minute intervals and we'll roll through those three times. Um, and then that will be our workout for the day. Push those arms up, reach up tall. Great job. Nice little squats down and up. As you squat, remember to set your weight back on your heels. And again, with you know the workout, we we're going to do squat jumps in the workout. Um, so instead of squat jumps, you could always just do squats. Um, there's jumping rope, so you could always, you know, tap rope instead of jumping rope. Make this your own today. One more, take that knee in and out. It's warming up through the hip joint. It's so important to warm up. Imagine your chest tall, your abs are in tight. Nice job, one more each side here. Good, and stepping out side to side. My goal in these warm-ups is to, to think about head to toe what all you need to warm up. Um, so we started with the shoulders, working our way down, um, getting you in every direction here in terms of that warm-up. All right, front lunges. Again, you don't have to go low. It's just enough to bring the heart rate up. Get those muscles starting to fire. One more each side here. And then straight leg kicks. Warming up through the hip flexors. Abs are in tight. Great job. Feet go wide. Good. Knees take out. Um, turn out to the side like a sumo. Squat. Squatting down and up. Again, still warming up here. I usually do these in the morning, so it's so important to get that body warmed up. Of course, that's important no matter when. As you do these, your knees should track in the same direction as your toes. And then curl back hamstrings. If you want to start to add some hop, you can. There's plenty of hops coming up. Good. Toe taps, warming up through the shins. I'm going to roll through those shoulders again. And reverse. One more minute and we'll hit it. Good, alternating kicks to the front. So again, five one minute intervals. We'll repeat that three times through um, for the workout. Now remember, form is always more important than reps. So if you need to stop and grab a drink, grab a drink, because all the intervals are back to back. Um, there's one second in between. So you're here, you go beep, beep, because there's basically no time. Little side kicks. The first interval is going to be 10 jumping jacks 
10 plank jacks. Remember, no matter where you're at, your core is braced, supporting your spine. And you can, of course, do those low impact if you wish. Back kicks. Ooh, there's nothing to kick back there. <laughs> All right, let's go. 10 jumping jacks, and I'm terrible at counting and cueing, so go at your own pace. When you get done with your 10, hands down to the floor, and you're plank jacking for 10. Again, brace your core. Um, if you would like to do your jacks low impact, right here is your option, okay? Again, I'm terrible at counting, but 10 and 10 is your goal. Coming down for the plank jacks. If you'd like those low impact, you can tap out side to side. When you're doing these, it's really important that you brace your core, that your hips are not bouncing up and down, okay? Really control that motion. Awesome. Again, our goal is to get that heart rate up and then to keep it up. Fantastic. Speed skaters and tuck jumps. So, speed skater here, we're going for 10 each direction and then two tuck jumps. Landing with that soft knee. Again, I totally cannot count when I'm queuing about stuff. Two tuck jumps whenever you're ready. Speed skater. Again, those tuck jumps can be taken low impact if you wish. Just simply do one knee on each side or do a couple squats. And tuck jump. Low impact right here, right here, right? And you can do these without a hop or with a hop. Nice job, guys. Awesome. High knees, mountain climbers. So 10 total high knees, 10 total mountain climbers. Again, our goal is just to move today. Working on endurance, soft elbows here. Shoulders over your wrist. Great job, guys. for a minute, right? Fantastic. Squat jumps, shoulder planks. So 10 of these. Good, come down to a plank. Alternate shoulder tap. Try not to let your hips move. as well, 10 total, not 10 each. Squat jumps, 10. Try to land with the soft knees. And again, I can't count with anything and talk at the same time. So if I'm short or long, just go for it. Try to keep your hips from rolling side to side. I know that's hard. Good work. Fantastic. Jumping rope. Good. 20 total here. And now three squats. Just squats. Jumping rope. Now on that last set, you could, like I said, replace the squat jumps with squats. Gives you a few extra squats here, but it's all good. And three squats. Good. 
We're gonna mix up those jump ropes. You can double time it. Bring the knees up, butt kicks, whatever is fun for you. And squats. One, two, three. We are done with our fifth round after this. We're ready to roll through them again. Great job, jumping jacks for 10, plank jacks for 10. As you come down for the plank jacks, core is braced. Soft knees, strong arms as you go. Go ahead and plank jacks. Awesome job, guys. Keep up the good work. skaters each way and two tuck jumps remember this can be done low impact as well and the tuck jumps you can do knees and some hopping no idea where we're at so I'm gonna do two tuck jumps again this is high this is low right whatever you need so important to stay strong and healthy you guys are doing great Remember, if this is not intense enough, go quicker, right? Or go wider on your leaps. Whatever gets your heart rate going. <laughs> High knees and mountain climbers. Remember, it's supposed to be 10 total knees and 10 mountain climbers. You can do all of this low impact as well. If this is not intense enough, make it faster. Do a couple extra rounds. Make it your own, guys. Great job, tight abs, tight abs. Get at any point you need a drink, grab one. Get those knees up there, good. Squat jumps, here we go. Going for 10, landing softly. If you need, remember when you squat jump, Set your weight back, right? You don't have to touch the floor. But if you need a low impact, this is your squat. Plank shoulder taps are the other item. 10 total of those. Feet wide, try not to shift your hips. Soft elbow, always. Nine, ten, awesome. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Uh oh, we we're supposed to be doing shoulder taps, <laughs> eye knees, or squat jumps. I got a mixed up jump rope. If you got a real jump rope, that's great. You may spend more time transitioning to grab it, put it away, but. It's up to you, right? And squats for three. Jumping rope. So 
supposed to be 20 total of those. Whatever number we happen to be on, right? We are getting ready to finish round two. So we have five minutes left on this round. Great job, guys. Strong arms. Great job, jumping jacks, 10 jumping jacks, 10 plank jacks. Trying to go back to back without breaks. Chris, is your workout, right? You do what you need to do. Last round, stay strong. Again, if you need more, feel free to rewind, do it again. I'm hoping that you can maybe do this in conjunction with like going outside and doing something fun outside. Go for a walk, go for a run. The sunshine is important for your health. I feel like I missed the buzzer. We might get an extended one on this. There it is. Speed skaters for 10 total each way, and then two tuck jumps. Awesome job, guys. I almost feel like I wanna do the walk, walk, tuck, right? Get a little bit of momentum shifting. Make sure, again, you're landing with softness. Can you pick up your pace? Can you go wider? What's gonna work for you? Good work. Abs are super tight, chest is tall. Great job, high knees, mountain climbers. Trying our best to go back to back without very many breaks. 10 mountain climbers, I know that's way more than 10 knees. The effort on this one is almost the transition, right? Getting down, getting back up. High knees, make them quick. See if you can get 20 in in my time it takes me to get 10 in. Set yourself a challenge. Awesome job, guys. Woo, okay. Squat jumps, 10. Again, you can do this low impact by just doing squats. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Shoulder taps. Perfect plank position. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. You're on pace, of course. One, two, three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Shoulder taps. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five. Land soft. Six, seven. Awesome. Jumping rope. We got 20 each leg, 20 arm circles with the arms if you're doing double, right? And then three squats. If that's not intense enough, you're welcome to squat and tuck jump, you know? Make it harder, make it your own. Last interval here.
Great job. Staying strong, guys. Three squats. Strong arms. Three squats. Again, if this is not enough of a workout, feel free to rewind. Go a couple more sets. This is total 15 minutes of cardio. So it's nice and quick, all right. But I'm gonna bring your heart rate down here. Again, if you need more, go for it. I have lots of videos on my channel that you can use um, to work out. Or you can go out for a run, you know, go out for a walk, walk your dog. Try to find, you know, like um, a place that's got a bunch of stairs. That's something new that you can climb up and down. Awesome. Just let that heart rate come down. That's so important. Great job. And then we're going to alternate knees up, stepping back, knee up, stepping back, knee up, stepping back. We're just alternating knees. Remember, it's easy. Heart rate's coming down. Since the cardio set is really short today, um, I'm gonna give you a long ab set today. Kind of balance that out. Summer is coming, right? So that's gonna be great. All right, make these butt kicks. Just kicking back here. Again, easy, easy. Heart rate comes down. Nice work, y'all. Roll those shoulders out. And reverse. Shrug and release. One more. Hopefully you feel like your heart rate's down. Let's hit the floor. We're gonna start with some bicycle crunches. Cause those are always good cause they um, kind of help your heart rate come down as well. Good, but we're gonna do them a little bit differently today, okay? What I want you to do is bring your knees towards your chest and then extend them back out so that they're actually over your hips, okay? And don't let them come any closer than that. And then straighten the leg and bring it back in. Straighten the leg, bring it back in. Pull your abs in, okay? If this is like so hard that your low back is arching off the floor, then, you know, don't go out as far, okay? Or you can straighten your legs higher up toward the ceiling. Now that's gonna make it easier as well. But again, try to keep your knees over your hips. Good. Now whatever knee is in, you're gonna to rotate toward it. But don't let those knees come any closer in. Sometimes we get so focused on the motion that we don't think about just the ab movement. You know, what's gonna make it really feel? Hopefully you're feeling this a lot more because your knees are not as close Again, pull that belly button down toward the spine. You don't want to really like flatten your back out because your spine is naturally got a curve there. Um, but you don't want it to arch way up off the floor. Hope you're starting to feel these. Remember with the upper body, use your abs to make yourself rotate. Don't pull on your head or neck at all. Last one. Awesome, relax your head and neck. Um, what I want you to do is relax the knees and we're going to do um, hip lifts, okay? So we're still working core, but you're going to raise up here. Good. I want you to heel toe your feet together, knees are together, okay? All the weight is on your shoulder blades right now. It's not on your neck. So lift up high enough to feel that and then extend one leg and straighten it out. Can feel that core engage here, right? It's like a, re like a reverse plank almost. And just hold, hold, hold. Keep breathing. Good, and switch. Kind of get a good feel for that. If this is too intense, you can always just hold the bridge. Knees are close together. Abs are tight, hips are still lifted. Don't let them drop. Good, and bring it back down. All right, single crunches, upper body. Right now you're working rectus abdominis, that muscle right down the center. Think about the squeeze every time you lift. You're gonna exhale as you lift. So you're not just going through the motion, you're really squeezing, controlling it.
Good, now we're gonna slow it down. So what I want you to do is lift up, extend the arms overhead, put the arms behind the head, and then come down. Okay, let's do it again. So lift, extend, hands behind the head, and down. It's slow on purpose. Lift, extend, arms behind, and down. Keep going nice and slow. You'll notice that when you extend the arms that you feel that intensifying your abs because you're lengthening the lever. Now I know a lot of you guys want to start going faster, but force yourself to go slow on these. That's what makes the difference. Don't forget to breathe. One more slow. Good, now that bridge again. Feet come close together. Bridge up, I'm gonna go for time this time. All right, right leg extends. Holding and we're gonna go for 30 seconds each side. Again, hips are lifted. Your goal, if you could, is to get your knees, hips, and shoulders in alignment here. Whew. Breathe, breathe, breathe. Try not to use your elbows. You know, cross them over, or put them palms up over your head. Engage the glute. Again, knees are close together. And we're done in four, three, two, one, and release. Good. All right, so coming up on the other side. Ready? Let's go. 30 seconds here. Again, palms are up or overhead, so you're not using those arms. Engage the glutes, engage the hamstrings, engaging the core. Knees are lined up. Looking fantastic, guys. Woo-hoo, 10 seconds remaining. Counting down, five, four, three, two, one, and release. All right, hands behind the head, rotating side to side. So I don't know if you guys realize, but core work is anything that attaches to the hip or to the spine. And so when we're doing those hip raises, we get hamstrings, glutes, getting a little bit of everything. Try to lead with your shoulder here. Breathe out every time you lift. So we're not just thinking about just going through the motions. You're squeezing every time you lift. Great work, y'all. Sorry the buzzer keeps going off, but I can't change the video without taking that, making that turn off. I can't make that turn off without messing up the video. So just gonna have to keep rolling with it. Hopefully you're starting to feel those abs engage here. I want you to punch and reach toward that knee. You know what I love about this is that sometimes we start to fatigue a little bit and we don't realize that we're not lifting up very high. And this keeps you very accountable to yourself. It also makes it hard to pull on your head or neck. One more each side, y'all. Awesome. Flip over to your belly. Okay, so what we're gonna do, um, I said belly, but we're gonna come down to a plank. And what I want you to do is lift up, feet are wide, okay, in that plank. I want you to lift up your right hand and hold it. It doesn't have to be really far off the floor, but just feel that core engage as you lift that up. Now, if that's too much, um, you're welcome to modify. Remember, you can be down on your knees if you're on your knees, um, toes are down. Go ahead and switch arms to your left, okay? Um, and then if you need to, you could also be on your elbows as well. So modify this as you need it to be. Everybody switch to the left here, hopefully. I didn't wanna leave you hanging. Try to keep your hips square to the floor. Good, and then both hands down and just hold that plank position. Hop your feet in skinny, and then lift one leg up off the floor. Either leg, doesn't matter. Eyes are looking down in between your wrists to keep your head neutral. And then switch legs. Hold, 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 hold. Breathe. Good, and flip back over. Nice work, y'all. All right, so our traditional bicycles where your knees come in. That's where we're at here. We're rolling those legs. Hopefully you're really starting to feel that burn by now. Nice 
Nice job. Use your abs to rotate. Try not to pull on your head or neck. Good, and just the upper body. Up and down. I want you to reach your arms through your legs. Again, your own accountability here so that you're ensuring you're lifting up that 45 degrees and those shoulder blades are coming off the floor every, every single time. And now reach up right and left, straight up to the ceiling. Nice work, over to your belly, literally over to your belly this time. Okay, so what I want you to do is stack your hands, okay? And then lean, put your, head, your ear onto your hands. What we're gonna do is some back work, okay? I want you to peel off the floor. So lift your hands and just slightly peel off the floor and then disengage, okay? Relax back down. Go ahead and do it again. I wanna keep your head neutral with the spine, which is why I'm having you turn to the side. You can always flip the ear if that's more comfortable. But you, what you don't want to do is this, okay? There's some cervical disc in your neck. Go ahead and keep lifting. There's some cervical disc in your neck that are not very happy if you do that. Now, if you're really, really strong, okay, then you're welcome to pick one leg or both legs up off the floor as you do this. If you're really struggling here, you can put your hands on the floor and let them assist you in lifting, okay? But our goal really is to strengthen the back. So do what you need to do, but, but don't make it too easy or too hard. You might really feel these tomorrow if you're not used to doing them. Last one. Awesome, bring it up on the elbows. Let's stretch out those abs. Hopefully you got a good extra feel for those. I don't know if that even made sense, but <laughs> probably, I hope you, hopefully you felt the abs. All right, I want you to push back. Um, let's hit down face dog to stretch out our calves. In this position, I want you to think about bringing your chest closer to your thighs. So shifting back toward your heels. Your hands are spread out. All your weight is on your fingertips as well as the palms. Not just the palms, but the fingertips as well. Soft, softness in your elbows and softness in your knees. Relax that head away from the shoulders. It's like your head is heavy and you're just letting it hang. I don't know about you, but my hands are so sweaty that my arms are shifting forward. Okay, have a seat. One leg in, one leg out. Lean forward from the hips. So um, our goal right now is to stretch the hamstrings. So if you don't feel that, um, you can lean forward more. Remember softness in the knees. Mild discomfort is always your goal. And then let's get the spine lifted up and turn toward the knee. Go ahead and release. Go ahead and switch. Leaning forward from the hips. Nice flat back. You guys did great today. I'm so glad you were here. Finding that mild discomfort. It's so important to stretch. I know we want to stop because the buzzer stopped, right? All right, lift up and then rotate toward that back knee, adding that twist. And release, runner's lunge. Um, whatever finds your hip flexor um, the best stretch, okay, is important here. So you can have the back knee down, um, you can have the back knee up, you could have the chest lifted, you know, and do like a standing version of this, whatever fits you here. Um, make sure though that the knee is over the ankle or this side of it. Um, you never want it to over. Whew. Be sure you guys get plenty of water. It's so important these days. Go ahead and switch. I don't know if you have a puddle of water like I do, but um, hydration is important anyway. <laughs> All right, go ahead and stand up, quad stretch. Always work those quads so hard. Bottom knee is soft, your knees are close together. Grabbing with the same hand here. Whew. 
you guys got to get a laugh. I almost lost it with my puddle of sweat in here. Going to switch. It's pretty slippery. One more stretch. One leg comes across, sitting back. If you need to grab onto a wall or something, feel free to do that. This stretches through the glute and through the hip. We always get so tight through here, especially with cross-training workouts. This is important. Good, go ahead and switch. Setting back. Awesome job today, guys. Have a great, great day.